but you tell us what the value of these two limits are. Okay. So this is very similar to what we just did, right? So if we agree that at limit as x goes to zero of sine of two x over two x is equal to one, what if I were to simply change the two? X going to zero, uh, sine of three x over three. Uh, sorry, three x over sine of three x over three x. Camille, what would you say is the li this limit? You can use your microphone. You can chat. Is it too early to talk? I guess one. Right. Exactly. Right. The two didn't really matter. Right. All that really mattered was I have this. What the two things? Let's concentrate on this. The same thing. Whatever is inside sine is outside sine. Right. I have a theta inside and a theta outside, and that thing is going to zero. That's all that mattered. So the three x, it doesn't matter. I can also say, um, I could say, whatever x going to zero, uh, sine of negative two x over negative two x. That limit is also equal to one. I could say the limit as x goes to zero of sine of pi over ln of two x over pi ln of two x. What? Okay, Mr. Farm. Does all you who just hear my phone like yell at me? It's like that formula doesn't work. Try saying it another way. Stupid fucking phone. Shut up. I gotta turn that off. It annoys me, although I do laugh at it. Okay, so it doesn't actually matter. You know, pi ln over two is a constant, right? It doesn't matter what that coefficient is of x. So in fact, we are going to conclude the following. Um, if I have lim as x goes to zero, sine of ax over ax, so it doesn't matter what the value of a is, as long as it's not zero, this is equal to one. Actually, let's let's make it theta just so we can kind of generalize it. Okay, so that example was kind of just to show you that we are now going to be using uh, these two limits, right? We've, we've whoops. Okay, so we are now going to memorize these two limits at the top of the screen. So I asked, because numerator and denominator are the same thing, right? That's right. Well, uh, I think I know what you meant. It's not that the numerator and denominator are the same thing. The the thing inside sine also appears as kind of the opposite thing, right? If I have a theta in the numerator inside sine, then I have a theta down below the denominator, right? I think I know what you meant. It's just kind of, it's much longer to say the precise thing. Okay, so let's look at one more example with this, and then we're going to do um, some review questions for the exam. I remember your exam is next week, right? Next Monday. It's not that scary. 